Hey everybody, it's Kim with GetGreenBeWell.com. If you are looking for one multi-purpose system at home that can do just a little bit of, of everything around the house, you're gonna want a works arrow cart. This arrow cart system acts as eight different functions at home, including a wheelbarrow, a dolly for your furniture. It can move potted plants and trees and rocks. It even works as a trailer tote, as well as so many more options. So we're getting ready to unbox this works arrow cart. I'll show you how easy it is to assemble it. And then we'll show you some of the features that you can use the works arrow cart for. And I'd like to take this time and thank works for supplying us with this arrow cart and some accessories so that we can show you how easy it is to use the system. This is what it's going to look like when you take all of the components out of the box. So the main component is going to be the wheelbarrow, so to speak, frame. This is going to be made of steel. And because it is made of steel, this box is going to be a little bit heavy. It's going to be around 39 to 41 pounds altogether. So I'm only saying that um, just in case you would have to bring it upstairs for some reason. Otherwise, you're probably going to be fine. But this is, like I said, made of steel. You might see that it is a little bit more narrow than a traditional wheelbarrow. And that is for a couple really great reasons. First of all, Works realizes that you're gonna be using this in the garden a lot. And a lot of people have garden fences and you need to go in and out. And I myself have been there as well, where you're trying to use a normal wheelbarrow and it's so wide and you have to like slow down and kind of tip the wheelbarrow a little bit to get it through the garden gate. You don't have to do that with works. That is why it's a little bit more narrow. Also, because you can use this in so many different functions, like as a dolly to move furniture or to move potted plants from inside to, um, or from outside to inside, you want to be able to go through doors. And a wheelbarrow, again, doesn't really go through doors that well. So you can use the works arrow cart for that. So um, this is the main component. Let me also show you these features that come. And these are the tires. These are gonna be flat free tires. They are made of solid polypropylene. So if you can see that, these are never gonna have to be inflated and you never have to run the risk of them being punctured while in the garden or trying to move a load and all of a sudden the wheel goes flat. I mean, I've been there and done that too. It's really annoying. So they're soft enough to where they'll have a cushion as they're moving through the garden or wherever you're going, but they are strong enough that they will never be flat. So that is great. And then these are some other components that come in the box and we'll show you these as we put together the works arrow cart but I just wanna um, give you a little bit of representation of what is going to be inside the box. Now, the good thing is, is that when we start putting this together, we need absolutely no tools and it's gonna to go together really fast, which is great. So let's show you how to assemble the Works Aero Cart. Okay, so now that we flipped it over after putting the tires on, it's time to put the handles on. I want you to keep in mind that each handle has to go on a specific side and you're, you'll see in just a minute, it's super easy to figure that out, but there are gonna be some caps on the end. So simply just pull that cap off 
and then you are going to put the handle inside. You want to have this part on the outside with this little piece going over the latch to the left like this. And then you simply just flip the lever. It is literally as simple as that. Okay, so now that we have the handles in, I wanna show you some of the features of this Works Aero Cart. First and foremost, you can tell it is a wheelbarrow. Uh, you might notice that the wheels are especially centered so that it can use the laws of physics to leverage the weight so that you can have more weight without feeling like you are holding that much more. So work says that an average 200 pound workload will actually feel like about 17 pounds in carrying it simply because of the physics of leverage. So this is in the wheelbarrow mode. I am going to show you a couple other modes. First of all, I'm going to come down here and lift this up. This plate, you actually want to slide over just a little bit and then it will come up like this. So that is how you're going to use this steel plate. Now you want to do that to use a couple of these different modes and this is going to be the works aero cart as a bag holder. So you simply just put this attachment into the little grooves up there and then that way you can put a bag in there and you can do leaves, you can do yard debris, anything that you're gonna be bagging up. And then it will have the um, support down here for the heavy bags. So let me go ahead and take that out. So that was the second function. And then third, this is going to be like a pot holder, um, you know, anything that you want that's heavy to be moving around simply putting that in and then you're able to have something that's rounded such as a pot to be easily on this platform as well. If you put the platform down that that is actually going to be the dolly system so it is super easy to use with transporting furniture, boxes if you're moving and then easily segue it out into the garden and be able to use it as a wheelbarrow and everything that you have garden needs for. All right, and another use of the Works Aero Cart is that it can be a trailer tote. You would do this by flipping this platform up, attaching the trailer ball, and then you would flip it down, and this can move a trailer that is gonna be up to a thousand pounds. Okay, so we are gonna go on to some more different systems with the Works Aero Cart. This is gonna be to move potted plants or any sort of pot that you need to be moving around that might not work on this little platform. So this again is included in the basic works air cart system. You would put this around the pot, cinch it tight, and then simply put the hook right here and be able to move it around. This is also gonna work the same way with a rock. So if you had some heavy boulder or garden art that was a rock that you wanted to move around, put that on there. And again, all you have to do is put those rings on that system and use it. Okay, and in addition to all of the things that the Works Aero Cart does around the home, you can add even more extra accessories for even more options with your Works Aero Cart. Now, one of those options is going to be this utility cart system. This is really handy when you wanna keep things organized um, while you're working in the garden or wherever you're working. So it simply attaches to the handles. You would take the handle out, you slip this on, and then put the handle back in, and it's super easy. You can actually remove the inserts, if you can see the Velcro, and do it in whatever configuration you want. And then, as you can see, these handles, you can actually just use this outside of the AeroCart system so that you can be bringing things around the house or the garden. And there is additional pockets on the outside if you're using it like that. Now some additional accessories that you can also buy are uh, firewood accessories. You can buy a snow plow. Um, there is all kinds of different things that you can use depending on where you live and what needs you might have while using this system outside. Right, so that is the works aero cart. I really love this system. I love that it's so stable, so easy to use, 
as you can see, it's like really solid. It's very hard to tip over the system just because of the physics of the wheels and where they are put. So be sure to visit the link that is gonna be in the description below to get even more information about the Works Aero Cart. And if you wanna see any other reviews of some fabulous things to use around the home and garden, just let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. So until next time, everybody, take care and be blessed. Bye.